Hello, <coughs> oh dear. Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Q. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, originally from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a dust in my throat, I think. Yes, I have lots of people saying that's not a 100% Aussie accent, which no. <laughs> I've lived in Australia over 38 years, but um, was originally from Birmingham in United Kingdom, so I don't think I'll ever use, lose my Brummy accent even after 38 years, and that is perfectly fine with me. Yay for the Brummies, as they call you in England. If you're from Birmingham, you are a Brummie. Rightio, on with this painting. It's a test really to see if I can get the same results from different combs instead of the catalyst wedge which there's an artist called Saw, Saw, Z-A-W, Saw, does kind of a blowout. I will find the name and I will put a link in the first comment. I've seen it from Saw. So I'm influenced by him um his art is absolutely gorgeous and he uses a catalyst wedge that's got sort of edges like this um but i haven't got one of those so i've got all these other gadgets so i have got a, just a, fl a catalyst wedge you know for doing this with i have this one from plaid um and i am not sure how or where i got this from it was in something so I have got this one from Plaid, it's soft silicon. And I've got an everyday comb. And then I've got a knit, a Knitty Nora Bug Explorer knit comb that you get the knits out of your hair or kids' hair. I haven't had knits in the family for a long time since my children were small and that is a long time ago. But I bought a knit comb to see if I can get any effects. And this is just a, a silicon pastry. I think I got it, or like a pastry cutter. So it would act as a cheap version of the catalyst wedge because I think this catalyst wedge from my local art shop in Noosa cost about $32, so not cheap. But this cost $2 from my local Jelly Night Jacks, which is a discount store. So I'm just going to have a go in each corner, I think, with each tool, and we'll see what each tool does. So, um, saw kind of puts the paint on and and he blows it out like a Dutch pour. Then he adds the um, the sort of effect with with the catalyst wedge. So I'm going to pour this, is what I have pre-made up, which is the Dark Sea, with, of course, I'm you going mad on this pearl mist because it adds such a lovely glisten to your paint. I will also list that in the top comments. So I might just put some of this around the canvas first. Look at this beautiful colour. Love it, love it, love it. So this is the uh, Dark Sea, which I think I named something else, but... I won't do the edges just yet because I might have to, well, because I'm doing an um, experiment, I might scrape it off to try the p particular um, technique again. So I'm just going to try it on the top at the moment. So it is a nice little gallery wrapped canvas, but I'm going to give this a go. So I'm going to pour some red. So I might do puddles. See how I go from there. I think I've got a little tiny bit left of purple, which is just the purple. Of, of course, I've put that lovely pearl mist in the purple as well. So it's really glistening, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, what else have I got here? Oh, I did have some purple left over from a pour that I did it's got purple and gold in it so that'll be interesting that can go in there I'm 
And then I've got some champagne left. There's my custom color champagne that I make out of gold and silver, equal parts. Uh, but except this one, I put a little dabble of um, metallic copper. That's it. I do a bit of red on there again. Ooh, that was a little bit much. Okie doke. I might put a bit of white. This white in here is Amsterdam white with a bit of Floetrol. So, and I've got a marble in the bottom. I like to put marbles in the bottom of my containers because it helps you mix them. So, and that one's got bunged up. So you just get a skewer and you push it in the end and you hope that that does the trick. Actually, I probably shouldn't have added anything that'll make it sell up because I wanted to not have cells. So, silly Jilly wasn't thinking. Okay, I'll just try this with me little, this was a little charity shop find, but it's a little baby Baylis. And I've just added that to the end. And of course you can fold it different ways, but that is perfect angle for blowing. So let me just put it on low. Oh my giddy eye, oh no, that, how did I create that? I have no idea. Oh my goodness. That is just like the Shelliar Bloom Duva, but I certainly haven't gone to all the trouble. The only thing I added was the Floetrol to the Amsterdam paint over my Global Paints, that is just gorgeous now. I don't want to go over that bit, but that's okay. I don't have to, I can go over the other bits. So I'm gonna try my Nitty Nora Bug Explorer. And I'm gonna do this thing that Saw does. Where we sort of, so that's my Nitty Nora, that's my Nitty Nora comb. Let's try the little silicon plaid, different duvelakis in it. I'll just do a little bit here. Ooh. Actually, those colors with that background are pretty stunning. My goodness, there was me doing it as an experiment and it's turned out beautiful. I'm gonna just try and do it, do it, do it, with the comb. It actually gives a nice um, effect with the comb because it trails off. Wow, I don't wanna do anything to that, that's gorgeous. The colors, oh, I have to make up these colors now um, to do because they are beautiful together. So there you go, the Nitty Nora Bug Explorer, the plaid silicon, that banging is my stupid plastic fly net, that, and it's a windy day. Then the comb, I didn't use the catalyst wedge or that because it's too small of a piece of work, but I am absolutely loving the results and I need to bring you down and have a look at this. thinking now that that might look nice on a putting it on turntable and spinning it because the colors are so beautiful I'll just bring you down one second so okay this side swirling up there was my Nitty Nora the bug explorer comb then this one swirling up there was the everyday hair comb and where did I do? Then that small one up there was that little silicon wedge, uh, plaid wedge. But look at this. Oh, sorry, I'm getting reflection. The cells are so, so pretty. And the colors together. Look at that gold with the sand. The colors are beautiful. And that you can see the in the cool red because I put that uh, pearlescent mist 
it's just shimmering. So I really, I don't, I had all intentions of scraping this to try another test. But I just love it. That um, dark sea background is just beautiful with those colors. I'm not sure whether to put it on a spinny thing now and try that out. I'll have a think about it. But if not, the photos will be on at the end. But thanks so much for joining me, you lovely people. Until tomorrow for the next exciting episode. See what I get mischief I can get myself into. But look at those results. Absolutely stunning. So you tell me what you prefer. The Nitty Nora Bug Explorer. The Wide Tooth Comb. Or that little wedgie thing. But they all created something, they all added something to it, I believe. So, no expensive catalyst wedge, just using the cheap tools, which is often, um, you find is just as good. So thank you so much, until tomorrow, bye for now.